One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. I just thought of something, y'all. Now, how pissed off are y'all going to be when Treeb from Treeb Talks wins his own contest? I'm one in three right now, so that probably won't work. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here for week number two of AAF, the Alliance Picks. And do you like money? Because I sure as shit do love money. And if you love money, you should enter Troop Talk's AAF Pick Contest. All you have to do is pick the games from that week, enter for your chance to win a pair of Apple AirPods, $100 via the Cash App, or a $100 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is pick the games, make sure you submit them before the week, and participate throughout the season. The man or woman that has the most games right to the end of the 10-week season will be our winner. So, ladies and gentlemen, enter before it is too late. So, let's hop right into Treep Talks' picks. This is Treep Talks, AAF week number two picks. So, starting things off for week two, the first game we got is the Salt Lake Stallions versus the Birmingham Iron that will be played on February 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So that would be 1, 12, 11 a.m. this time. So even though, you know, I pick a team like the Stallions, who seem to be pretty decent, they still got me waking up pretty fucking early to watch these games, which I am not about. But, you know, nonetheless, I will get up uh, to watch that one. That will actually be played on TNT, the first game on uh, TNT. Uh, the reports are, from what I heard, that Woodrum's okay and that he's going to be able to play. Um, and I think if he plays, it's going to be a good game. But if Lenahan plays, it's going to be over from start to finish. And uh, Birmingham's going to win. But um, I don't know. I want to trust Woodrum and the offense to uh, get it done. The Salt Lake defense also seemed like it came around. But like I said, kind of looked a little winded at parts. Uh, but that's not going to... I don't think that's going to persuade me. I'm going to take Birmingham to beat the Salt Lake Stallions in the early game on Saturday. As for the late game, we got the Arizona Hot Shots <laughs> against the Memphis Express at 8 p.m. Eastern time on the NFL Network. Now, this is a game I definitely don't have to spend a lot of time uh, talking about. Maybe Memphis can score its first points. You know, who knows? I think, I think the... Uh, the Express got the hardest go, and then the Stallions also got the hardest go because they went from Iron, Hot Shots, and then I think they played the Apollos. So they they just had a rough three-game stretch, I think. Let's see who they play next week. Yeah, they played the Apollos, man. They, they literally got, like, the worst three-game, like, stretch you could have asked for. And then Salt Lake probably got it second because they played the Hot Shots first. And then they played the Iron, who's really stout on defense and will probably win. And then they play the Hot Shots again in week three. So it's like, you know, they can't they can't catch a break. And, uh, you know, I definitely feel for the Stallions and the Express. But we'll see uh, what Memphis decides to do at the quarterback position in this game. Maybe uh, Zach Menberger will take over. Uh, that will be uh, interesting. I'll be interesting to see. So without a doubt, I'm going to be taking the Arizona Hot Shots to defeat the Memphis Express. The Orlando Magic. I'm just kidding. The Orlando. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. I'm fucking dumb. The Orlando Apollo is going to take on the San Antonio Commanders. And this is the game. If you are doing the picks, you must give me the total amount of points scored on this one. This is going to be the early Sunday game, which isn't really too early. It will be played at 1 o'clock on CBS Sports Network. Um, this is going to be a battle. I think this is going to be probably the best game of the week. Uh, that's why I had you guys pick the uh, amount of points you thought were going to be scored in this one. you got the Commanders who have Woodside, and uh, he's a little shaky. He's not he's not necessarily too bad. And then, you know, you got the Apollos as well who are clicking on all cylinders on offense, on defense, all over the field. The Apollos are clicking and uh, this is going to be a good game for sure. San Antonio is the home team, and you've seen the home crowd last time. It was a big, big factor in their game against the Fleet. 
Oh, man, this is a tough one for your boy, but I'm going to have to say Woodside has a comeback. Woodside has a turnaround. I'm going to take the San Antonio Commanders to beat the Orlando Apollos. Now, I'm 1-3 in three in these picks, you know. I need to pick a couple of games that might be shockers so I can, you know, roam back up the rankings so I can win $100 via the Cash App, $100 Amazon gift card, or a pair of player pods. All for myself in my own contest. Could you even imagine? I can't. That would just be too raw, dude. I'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. I got a pair of Apple AirPods from Troop Talks Contest. I'd be bragging about it. I'd be like, my favorite YouTuber, Troop Talks, to give me these Apple AirPods, dude. And that's what I hope you guys do if you do end up uh, winning this contest. Oh, God. If you can't tell, there's only four games on this slate, and I'm really trying to stretch the time. That's <laughs> That's really a big big point of what we're doing here so now we got the atlanta legends taking on the san diego fleet two 0-1 teams the legends only scored six points the fleet didn't do much better that's going to be the nightcap on sunday on the nfl network as well at 8 p.m eastern so the main event on sunday we got the legends we got the fleet who do i think is going to take this one i'm going to take the atlanta legends i think that that game against the apollos might have been a little bit a little bit of a fluky fluke. Not that they lost, but the fact that they didn't put up a lot of uh, fight. I think this is a t decent team that has the potential to turn it around. And I think they have the perfect opponent to do that against, and that's the Fleet. Because I think the Fleet is one of the uh, more lower tier teams in this league. And I think that they have a good chance to turn it around against them. So ladies and gentlemen, recapping. I got the Iron. I got the Hot Shots. I got the Commanders. And... I got the Atlanta Legends. Don't forget to leave your comments, I mean your picks in the comment section down below. And if you forget the total points, you're fucked because you will definitely be ranked last at however many you got right. So you need to give me a total amount of points that you think is going to be scored in the Apollos and Commanders game. And before I roll out of here, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to give a big shout out to my homie Max Anderson that put together that dope intro that you've seen. At the beginning of the video, the man continues to support the channel. He made the first intro last year. I asked him if he could do a new one this year, and he came through, and he came through big time. Now, Max is also uh, currently in the Navy. He's a mass communication specialist, third class. So everybody in the comments section, make sure you leave a little bit of uh, thanks for your service to Max, and thanks for supporting the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Now... If you haven't already, make sure you check the links down below. If you haven't, make sure you can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Trevon Pix or at Troop Talks. Or and follow me on Instagram at Trevon Pixley. Once you do this like a million times, sometimes you stumble. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. I'm just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, it's a great day.